In this video, I'm going to share with you some of the resources where you can calculate your grades and columns and you can use, uh, generate a PNG uh, image or uh, create some pattern and you can apply that in your web design, mobile app design, whatever you are designing. And uh, I'm using these tools from past, I think maybe six and seven years or maybe more, I don't remember. Some of them are really old, some of them are really new. I'm also going to show you some of the grid functionalities. Uh, CSS grid that is very new for developers. Uh, so let's get started. I'm going to also share a review, um, uh, a resource that is uh, going to give you all the free uh, grids, uh, columns, grids, automatically generated grids. You can use them in Figma. Uh, sketch and uh, Adobe XD, I think. So make sure you watch that till the end. I'm going to share with you the resources at the end. So let's get started. Now the first one is grid. Uh, this is basically grid calculator dot DK. And uh, I'm using it from I think when I used to design in Photoshop. So um, right now you can see I'm using maximum width of 1200. So here you can specify your width, total width. You can also specify, for example, if I want to use 1440, let's see like this. I want 12 columns uh, and uh, gutter will be 24. You can increase it to 30 if you want to and it is going to show you on the right what is the page width. So make sure you try something that is going to use the full width of the page. So let's try 24. 20 and uh, 38 let's 16 okay so we are going to use let's use margins of 50 on the both sides like this and then we have 12 columns you can also remove the margin if you want to and um, 20 Let's use 24 and you can see now we have used the full width of the page on the right. You can see column width is uh, nine, uh, 98 and this is the gutter size 24 maximum width uh, 12 columns. So I am going to generate a PNG file. I really love this, uh, this uh, online tool. So here we have the grid. So you can see this is the grid. And if you are in Photoshop or if you are in um, any tool, uh, Figma or whatever you are using, let's use Adobe XD2. So let's use Web1920. Okay, so what I'm going to do is just I'm going to overlap this over here. Let me show you. Okay, so I'm going to grab my grid and I'm going to put it over here like this. Just drag it. Make sure you move it in the center and we are going to expand. We are going to unlock this because we need to expand it in this way like this. So if your artboard is like this, I'm going to expand it like that. And then I'm going to reduce its opacity to 20%. If you want to reduce it to 10%, it's up to you. Uh, it's up your choice. 5% is also going to work. I think 10% is more than enough. And the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to lock it. So let me show you zoom in view. So here is my artboard. Make sure you name it properly. For example, it is 1440 pixel, 12 column, and the gutter is 24 pixel gutter 24 gutter you can also something like this so make sure you remember that what uh, you have you are using so whenever you are designing you are going to use this like that so this is going to be your grid bottom or background or layout that you are not going to hide show and hide again and again so this is one way you can also drag this in photoshop too so let me show you actually oops so photoshop is a bit slow on this uh, graphic card my graphic card so i am going to use 1440 
by uh, let's say 2500 like this and I'm going to drag it uh, let's drag it from here because it is uh, like this let's turn this to pixels oops so it actually scaled down this one so I'm going to use 1440 over here because I used the same size so here we have the grid now I'm going to control T or command T to oops so we are going to press uh, and hold shift I think yes press and hold shift this is the new functionality of Photoshop that it actually start aligning or expanding in both directions so if you want to drag it and uh, make it like this you have to use something like that again I'm going to rename it grid uh, 1440 24 pixels uh, uh, 24 gutter and 12 columns I can think uh, I, I can see easily grid oops what is that grid now I'm going to reduce this opacity to 20% and I'm going to lock this layer like this so this is going to be my layout where I'm going to start so this is one tool I actually use a lot then another one is a grid dot guide so this is a bit different because it shows you uh, something in percentage or ratios for example here we have 96 column gutter width is 8 and uh, then we have this is actually the maximum width is you can see at the top the settings are at the top 1240 12 columns zero ratio so if you try to change the ratio you can see uh, it shows that it is not going to work let's use one percent so if we have 94 4 so maybe i'm going to use this one or this one let's use 1200 and see the results Okay, so this one looks better 24 gutter is good column width is good and I'm again we are going to share this that is all so it is going to download a PNG and this is uh, this is going to work the same so same repetition same thing you have to do it's actually 1200 by 100 size so for 1200 pixels I think it is very close to bootstrap grid this one so this is another tool i really love this tool grid dot guide so grid calculator grid dot guide let me show you another one gridulator it's a bit old one but still i i think it's very usable 1200 it shows the same thing and um let me uh, use 768 that is going to be the size of my ipad and uh, I'm going to use eight columns and you can see it shows me different uh, variations that you can do zero gutter eight 16 24 32 40 48 and if you click on this for example I have this one you can make a PNG file again this PNG file this one this is for 768 so I need to create a new over here so let's use ipad Do we have ipad over here yes okay so here we have the ipad so i'm going to drag and drop this over here on the ipad so it is going to fit over here nicely oops so let's remove this lock you can use the same into figma that is up to you you can create layouts if you want to inside this but i actually use this because uh, you can easily lock them and hide them like this so they are not in the way it is very nice you can see on the left they have already named it properly 768 8 column 75 width 24 gutter this is really nice so they are already naming it so then we have another one which um, you cannot do much you I think you cannot ex extract it I'm not sure how you can extract this one so this is not an image anyhow so it is actually going to show you how actually 
this whole grid system is working so one column 73 2 is 170 wide and then it is going to show the width of each combination over here so if you have three four five six columns uh, it is going to be 550, uh, 558 uh, in the size so this is a good nice visual representation of, of checking different uh, let's use 8 over here and see if you can design it so you can see this is uh, 8 columns and it is going to design you can plan your design using this tool so this is grid design and I'm going to leave all the links in the description of this video so make sure you check the description now let's come to uh, some tools that are for developers so here we have CSS grid generator that is actually the new grid system one fr one fraction and again you can see i have used 12 columns over here three rows uh, 24 pixel um, reset grid three rows let's use four five six columns we are going to use 12 column gap i am going to use let's use 24 and row gap if you want to use the gap between the rows vertically you can also use that let's put 16 over here so this is going to be uh, the layout css grid generator i really don't think it is a very nice one you can also copy the code you can see over here uh, let's see a few more ideas so uh, this is a good tool lay uh, grid dot layout lay out it so they have uh, two modes over here you can see night mode and light mode anyhow so here are different columns you can add right now there are four columns and three grid rows you can add as much as you can you can also specify the grid gap over here in pixels or percentages let's use grid gap of five percent and uh, let's see we have this is i think the vertical this is going to be horizontal let's use why they are this like this 24 okay so i have put a pixel value of 24 pixels in the in the uh, different columns you can add more columns over here if you want to and uh, it is going to give you the code over here for the grid container so this is how you can plan your grid which is using css grid then we have another one which is over here this is called css grid.id <laughs> grid actually so uh, it shows you and specify if you want to specify 12 items you can also specify grid gap for example i want to use 32 uh, maximum width if you want to use um specify it over here for example i'm going to use 1200 i'm going to use 12 columns so you can see um, it basically tries to uh, you know fit whatever it has there are different layouts over here header and footer uh, with some gallery items this is a masonry layout football formation so if you want to start some layout with css grid this is a tool for you now the last one which is i'm saving for you this is the best tool uh, or you can say free um, free grid system grid system library and you are going to really enjoy it so it has bootstrap grid mobile tablet desktop android mobile and tablet ios watch iphone and ipad and it has 15 devices uh, and all this so it is going to work with illustrator photoshop sketch all the tools over here so you just press on this get you can click on the download and it's going to go to their gumroad store and you just put zero over here and click on i want it and it's going to give you download this grid library system and you will have all the pre uh, made grid systems for your designs you can just drag and drop that and start designing 
so this is the tool uh, this is you can say the free uh, freeware or grid system library which i enjoy and use in my projects so i hope you have enjoyed this video on grid system library or creating different grids and how i actually use different online tools to create uh, grids for my website designs whenever i start a project if you have any comments or suggestions you can put them in the comments section below i hope you have enjoyed this video i will see you soon in the next video till then you have to like subscribe i see that a lot of people are watching my channel but they are not subscribing make sure to subscribe i'm going to share a few more uh, videos on different tools i use on my mac uh, for ui design so see you soon and meet you soon in another video till then take care and bye